Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. Today another project walkthrough. I'm back once again with the project walkthroughs. Um, yeah, and today I want to show you the project of Crush. My latest cover. It's a cover of the original song by Jennifer Page. And I hope you already listened to that one. And I hope you like it. Yeah, today I'm back in English. Yeah, I'm still struggling uh, whether to make the videos in English or German. Um, at some days I uh, like English more, on some days I like German more. I'm just not sure and also don't know which uh, which language you guys would prefer. So yeah, I think English is, um, yeah, I think almost everyone understands English. Um, but yeah, sometimes I have the feeling that I that I am not that of authentic in English, um, and that's why I'm making some videos in German and some videos in English. So, for example, vlogs I'm doing in German because I think, yeah, it's just more authentic and I'm more comfort comfortable with it. But yeah, I also like to make English stuff and um, yeah when I'm making a video like this right here where I'm explaining a project and yeah, showing some stuff in FL Studio I just like to do it in English I don't know um, yeah let me know what you guys think what would be better or if you just don't care if I do the vlogs in German and uh, stuff like this in English if you watch both and it doesn't matter which language I'm doing it in just let me know um, I appreciate it I'm always doing what I like the most in the end, but yeah, I am. Um, I also want to know your opinion, of course. So yeah, then let's start with the project right here. So first, I started the track with the vocal. I got this vocal right here. I see you blowing me a kiss. It doesn't take a scientist to understand what's going on, baby. Yeah, and this is the yeah the acapella, the song sung. <laughs> the vocal, yeah, and I don't know what I'm trying to explain. Um, yeah, let's start right into it. So the song is 124 BPM, just to make it clear in advance. Let's start with the vocal right here, with the vocal processing. First, we got the little alto boy. Um, yeah, I'm just, just put a little bit of drive on it, nothing more. Then I added some EQ, just cutting off the lows. Then a little OTT, just 3% depth, um, don't know why, <laughs> and the kickstart for the drop. Um, yeah, some some kickstart stuff may sound different in here because I had to exchange um, the kickstart 1 plugin with the kickstart 2 plugin and I don't know exactly which amount of mix I used and which uh, sidechain preset I used, so maybe some stuff uh could sound different i don't know really but yeah i installed everything on my uh, on my laptop right here and i didn't find the kickstart one uh plugin anymore i think there's only the kickstart two plugin you can only uh, get that one um so i paid five or ten euros i don't know to upgrade it to the kickstart two plugin yeah and this is the vocal I see you blowing me the thing it already has much reverb on it a little bit too much maybe but I liked it anyways um, and this is how it sounds without it's not that much it's, it's just pushing it a little bit more um, and compressing it a little bit more yeah the next thing uh, thing you all you see in almost every track oh first um, let me show the swing here I put the swing to 32 percent yeah a thing that you hear in almost any track of mine is the bass butter. A preset I really like. Um, it's actually a yeah, lo fi sound, but I don't care. It just sounds like the perfect slap house. Reese bass. Um, you can find it on Splice, I think. You can look for it if you want. It sounds like this. And of course, always with the sliding up there and sliding into the next note right here yeah this is the bass um it's just nothing special it's always the same <coughs> eq cutting off the highs maybe i should have cut a little bit more highs off um and then the fruity limiter for the second part where the where just the kick is in right there then we layered it or i layered it with another bass which is the reese deep devil uh, i don't know from which sample pack this one is but it sounds like this
cut off the highs right here, or first the lows and then the highs, um, to layer it with the with the sub breeze. And then we added, or I added, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, we added, I added some chords from Omnisphere. I got this plugin. Yeah, I think it's already two months ago now, but I really love it. Um, I almost use it in any track, so it's definitely worth the 350 euros. I think I paid for it. Um, it's really expensive, but I think it's worth it. You can use it in so many, in so many uh, um, different styles of music and stuff. Um, ambient Space Piano, a preset I really, really love. Let me show you it quickly. And it just sounds perfect. Um, the chords aren't from the original, so um, I made them by myself so that it fits. I already got the bass notes, of course. I don't even know if they are from the from the main track uh, from or from the original. But uh, yeah, I did what felt right, made the chords right there, which looked like this. And yeah, you already heard them playing. So I already said with the awesome preset. Yeah, put some EQ on it, highs and lows, uh, zero and cancer made it zero until this point, 51%, and through the filter to filter it in after the drop, um, right here, ah no, wait, uh, I didn't even filter it in, okay, yeah, uh, forgot what I said, um, yeah, then we got this here, it's just some ambient stuff, it's from... Yeah, it's from Omnis, uh, Zero. Um, pan to the right a little bit. It sounds like this. It's just some ambient stuff to fill it up a little bit more. We got EQ. Um, yeah, you can see where it is. <laughs> uh, and there was a, was this harsh frequency, which I wanted to put out a little bit to give the track a little bit more headroom. And yeah, you just don't need it like that, just put it down, I also could have put that one down, but I didn't care, um, just want to put that one down, yeah, and then another ambience thing, I also used it in almost every track, all string slow from flex, to give that, yeah, to just get that high string thing right there, which you hear in any house track, then we got uh, this loop right here, drum loop, um, from the Neliro sample pack, which I really like. Um, sounds like this, really cool loop in my opinion. EQ, pan to the left a little bit. Yeah, let's do it a little bit more faster. And we got a snare right here. Which is pitching up. Then, yeah, some more atmosphere in the background. You don't even hear it, but um, you realize when it's missing. Let's say it like that. Um, I can show you if you want. If you listen really, really, really close, um, you can hear it. And it makes a difference if it's gone. But it, uh, yeah, you know what I want to make clear. Um, if it's gone, you realize it. And if it's there, you don't even hear it that much. Then another atmosphere thing. It's this. Same goes for that. You don't really hear it, but you realize when it's gone. So, yeah, then the crash, just as a transition. I used it in almost any track. A cool riser, which gives some... Yeah, some more tonal stuff, if you can say it like that. Standard white noise downlifter, white noise uplifter. Um, yeah, then the fill right here. And then we get into the drop, where we got the vocal. Once again, of course, it's the main thing of the track, so it's... So it's also in the drop. Then we got the bass, 
right here, the slap bass. We got two layers, the Arlock bass right here. The basses play these notes. Arlock bass is the yeah low part of the bass. Yeah, channel looks like this. Um, high part of the bass, this one right here. Always put song codizer on your basses. I always do it. <laughs> and yeah, then we got this swamp right here. Just as a little fill. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, sound could die. Oh, yeah, it's on the same channel as this one. Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. Okay, then we got the kick. Also, nothing special. Just a really cool punchy, punchy kick. Um, side chain in a different direction. We got the clap right here. Nice, slappy clap. Nothing special, too. The press, yeah. Just edit it because I think it gives a cool vibe. It's a little bit more in the background. Don't hear it that much, but it gives a cool vibe. Um, yeah. Again, why noise up and down lifter. Then we got the drum loop, uh, another drum loop right here. Just in the second part to. Yeah, make it a little bit more different to the first part. Same goes for the yeah hi hats, and then we got this cool lead right here, which I got from Serum. Plays these notes. Yeah, also just uh, put some notes in there which fit to the vocal, to the chords, to the bass, and yeah, it sounds really cool. Yeah, really cool. Um, second part is nothing special. Um, just put the kick in there. It's actually the same kick like in the drop, but yeah, did this twist right here. <laughs> um, yeah, fading it out more makes the kick shorter, um, fits better into the break, and yeah, that's it pretty much. Um, do I have to say anything more? No, I don't think so. Stereo separation, I already made a video about it. Do it in any uh, song. If you want to know it again, or if you can't find the tutorial, um, yeah, just write me a comment or maybe I'll do an update video, but there is nothing to update. It's pretty much the same. But if you want to see it again, I can do that, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, is there anything left to say? I don't think so. This is the whole song. Make sure to stream it on Spotify and so on. The link is in the description. And yeah, I'm going to show you, show it to you one more time. And yeah, then we'll see in the next video. Have a nice day and goodbye. Yeah, check it out. <laughs>